what started as a normal school day here at the Frederick Smith Secondary School ended in tragedy. Around 1 p.m., an altercation between students resulted in a 16-year-old schoolboy being stabbed to death. It was a heartbreaking scene at the school. Family members, teachers and officials from the Ministry of Education gathered on the compound to come to grips with the death of the teenager. School was immediately dismissed as counsellors provided support to those who were distraught. We immediately responded and uh, we had various conversations with the principal of the school. Um, we were informed and were led to the scene of a young juvenile, a 16-year-old juvenile who appeared to have received stab wounds. Um, our investigation obviously is still continuing very much at a sensitive stage. We are continuing our investigation. Um, we are informed that two juveniles were in an altercation and uh, one received stab injuries and um, subsequently died on the spot. Uh, we are yet to confirm a number of things that we've been told. As you can appreciate, we are, we are interviewing a number of persons. But at this stage too, we, we really want to uh, send our sympathies to the family who seem very distraught. Not only the family, but other students as well, the teachers as well. There, there, there are scores and scores of persons on the compound who are not feeling very well in the circumstances, obviously. Minister of Education, Santia Bradshaw, in an address to members of the media, expressed her deepest condolences to the family of the deceased while stating her concern about the incident. This is a very difficult time, not just for the school and the staff who I had the opportunity to speak with at length. It is also very difficult for the family at this time. Um, you know, death is a, is a difficult thing generally, but when somebody lo loses their life in this tragic way, um, words cannot even begin to express how certainly I as Minister of Education or any of the, the persons who have been here this afternoon feel about what has transpired. I believe it is a reflection on what is happening in our society. A child obviously coming to school as a student had in his possession a weapon and was able to use a weapon um, to the detriment of a young man to lose his life. I believe the reflection is on society, not just our parents who is looking, who are obviously perhaps sometimes not as vigilant in these times in terms of checking to see what children are taking to school, um, but also it is a reflection of society at large because this is, school is a small environment, but it's often a reflection of what is happening in wider society. And I know that we have offered the support to the school and to the support staff, but it is clear that we're going to need to have to ramp up additional resources in relation to not just this plant, but obviously a number of the other school plants across the island as well. I don't think there's, this is a time for finger pointing, um, but I do feel that it is a condemnation on an entire society that this young man has lost his life here today. Those who perhaps could have done more and didn't do more, um, those who didn't respond as quickly as they could have, and to be able to give the support and the interventions that perhaps were needed. Uh, we can never see these things coming, but the reality is that they are, these are problems that are confronting this institution, it's certainly confronting a number of other institutions, and this is really a call to the wider society to stop, take stock of what is happening and to be able to get on board, to be able to assist not just families, but certainly to be able to support the institutions as well in this country. How concerned are you about violence in schools? We are very, very concerned about the level of violence. But like I said before, this is just a snapshot of what is happening in the wider society. Um, just a few, well, just the last weekend, I attended a vigil in my own community um, for a young man who was um, shot innocently on a street corner. Um, this has be now become almost commonplace across Barbados. And I made a plea then and I will make it now that it is a responsibility of all of us to be concerned about what is happening, not just in the schools, but what is happening across the wider society. There was a time when people would see a young person going astray and pull them back. There was a time when parents within communities would be responsible for other children when they see them going wrong. 
there was a time when people cared and they stopped and they tried to figure out why is a child behaving in a particular way? Is it that they don't have the means to afford whatever it was that they needed to be able to attend school or is it that they had problems at home? We need to get back as a society to caring, to asking the questions and being able to put the support in place to be able to address the problems. This is not the ministries of Ministry of Education's challenge alone. This is wider society's problem as well and I think the call has to be made now for everyone to step up, to be able to support us, to be able to address a number of these problems. It is clear that a lot of these young people do not have the skills to be able to deal with anger management and conflict resolution. And these are things that we need to nip in the bud from early and to be able to give them the skills to sometimes walk away um, or to be able to tell an adult to be able to um, confront the issues that they are facing within the institutions and certainly within the wider community as well.